here welcome back to the fashion bunker super happy to unbox something connected to Halloween today now before I get to the unboxing which the box is right in front of me um, check out my new merch by the way <laughs> the Jacob the extract I've developed a kind of a concept of a perfume and uh, there's a perfume bottle involved you can check out the video uh, where I talk about this uh, collection in the car section up above, I'm going to leave a link also in the description box down below. But uh, in case you're interested in this uh, limited edition capsule collection made by Jacob and the team and the Fashion Bunker team uh, for Halloween, uh, you can purchase it through the link which I'm going to pin in the comment section down below for my that will lead you to my Teespring shop, but also you can see in the shelf, the little kind of scrolly thing underneath the video, a couple of products from that collection available there as well. This is one of those products. It is the psychedelic version of the pumpkin. It's a perfume bottle. Where is it? And it's also symmetric. I see everything mirrored. Uh, <laughs> a perfume bottle that when you spray it, it's actually an orange pumpkin. You can buy the orange version, but then there, once the perfume has been sprayed, the idea is that it all turns psychedelic and you get to see all these weird colors. That's kind of just the conceptuality of, of the collection. So, but the funny thing is, um, I'm obsessed with Halloween. It's the favorite time of the year for me. And I'm also obsessed with pumpkins. I love them so much. In fact, even in the psychedelic pumpkin, I couldn't abandon orange completely. Orange being one of my favorite colors. And, uh... This is where we're getting it. Let me just cover the shipping information. This black box, Pandora's box, arrived. This is the back of it. A little bit damaged, but it's totally fine. This is literally the shipping box. That Moschino. Yes, I have ordered something from Moschino after so many years again. Uh, that Moschino ships uh, the stuff in now. And uh, so their summer collection went on sale. And, uh, well, the summer collection went on sale at the perfect time because the summer collection was actually, 20, uh, 2020, uh, was actually dedicated to Universal and Warner Brothers in particular. But I think the fashion show was showcased at Universal Studios, uh, the back lot. Uh, or just Universal Studios, monster, horror, everything horror related and monster related and Halloween related because if it's monster related and um, look at this huge, like this is where it's at, you guys. If it's uh, monster related and mosquito related and Halloween related, yeah, best believe I'm going to love it. And then if all that goes on sale, I'm going to love it even more. So this is what's inside. Hmm. Let's take it out. Wait, let me... It's more complicated than I thought it would be. I'm going to put the box down. All right. So this little beauty here, ah, wait, this side is better. Oh, I got a little hair there. So this little beauty here is the, <laughs> it's knotted in a way that we can't open it. Great. What a glamorous, spectacular reveal, a knot that won't come undone. Seriously? Seriously. Okay. Back again. The Halloween pumpkin bag from Moschino. Jeremy Scott from Moschino. Now this one uh, came in orange, but also in a gold, bronzy gold color. Now pumpkin, bronze, gold, no. Orange it has to be, and orange it was meant to be, because this is the one that made it to sale. And I was like, okay, yeah. On sale, half off. Yes, we want it. There's a magnetic closure. 
And then um, inside has its little care booklet, tag, little desiccant paper as well. Is it going to focus on it? No, it's there you go. Desiccant paper, tag, and care booklet. And then you have the kind of neoprene to the touch, like a satiny neoprene uh, material. So it's totally coated uh, inside with, well, coated. I mean, it's the inlay is, is that satiny material. And you do have the Moschino logo shining over there. Moschino Milano. And then you got the, um, the strap. Now, the handle, better said. This is, uh, I guess, as vegan as it gets. This is not leather, by the way. Never, ever. It's, this is plastic. So this is pleather. This is metal. You do have the, on the gold hardware, you do have the logo. And the pumpkin is plastic. Now, it's not a one-molded piece. It's also not a 3D-printed pumpkin. It is plastic. Let's get close to the microphone so I can kind of knock onto it so you get to hear the uh, what material it is. I mean, it's it's hard plastic, but it's not 3D printed. If it were, it wouldn't be made out of all of these different bits and parts. So as you can see, the actual side of the pumpkin, oh, there. See it down here? These are two sides, right? There's the front and the back, and then they're glued together. And then on top, the tip of the pumpkin, which is an extra piece of plastic, is also made out of two sides, front and back. Now, because they added the extra bit of plastic and this was not molded out of one piece, I think they could have made it green instead of orange, but whatever, it's more puristic this way if you want. But uh, this is an extra, actually the little tip are two different pieces. And so we got one, two, the lid, three, backside, four, front, five, and then that this little kind of screw that goes through, so six. So basically the pumpkin outer shell plus the little screw, six parts, and then inside the satiny part is made out of one, two, three, for five pieces plus the two added tags. And then we have the handle made out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pieces. Why am I counting this? Who cares? <laughs> I don't know. This is like, what else can we say about this bag? It's super simple. Now, the only crazy part about it is the eyebrows. Why do you give a pumpkin eyebrows? Why do I have this? this you see this hair? It is so irritating me. Always this one little hair doesn't want to go left or right. It's right in the middle. It doesn't want to join any party. It's like it's its, its own party. Um... Why eyebrows? Why eyebrows, Jeremy? You're never going to watch this video, but if you do, why the eyebrows? Now, I haven't been purchasing a lot of well, almost any Jeremy Scott for Moschino pieces for a very long time because the quality isn't the best. I, things have to be said here. Uh, their hardware, the metal oxidizes really soon. The chrome chips off, it oxidizes. It, it, you know, things are not all made in Europe. Some stuff is made in China or elsewhere. It's like... You know, I, I was just wishing better quality. So I've kind of railed away from it. It's just, they just don't deliver that amount of quality that I want. However, this bag, um, my love of Halloween made me do it, basically. And my love of pumpkins. And my love of Moschino. And my love of Jeremy. So it kind of all combined, it just really fits. And, and my love of sale. Because 50% off is, is amazing. Um, will I be using this pumpkin? I mean, it's very fragile. You guys, it's not like this thing can 
be if this thing falls it's gonna crack it, it's it's gonna break and uh in particular what is very very fragile is that they so this is before i get into this detail i got this for the fashion bunker archives it's a beautiful piece to add to my fashion collection the fashion archives and i think it's a great piece to add to a moschino collection a jeremy scott collection anyway back to the fragility of the pumpkin bag uh or the jack-o-lantern bag this rivet or this which is it's not a screw it's kind of a yeah, rivet screw is attached to the pumpkin exactly you see here like they literally where the two sides of the pumpkin meet the back with the front this thing is in between so you can imagine how easy it is for this to crack because this screw rivet or where grommet whatever it is it's on the inside as well yeah okay on the inside it's a screw you can actually see the slits for the screw so it's been screwed together the Uh, hard to see it's right there and it's out here so they screw this so it's up to the person in the factory who made this how tight they screw this the stress and the pressure this puts on the actual plastic part of the pumpkin which is already cut into pieces it's not like they made it's hard to see you guys it's not like, you know, okay, so you see here's the part where the back and the front meet. So it's not like they made a hole for this screw, like let's say here. If they made it here, there would be, you know, no front and back part attached. So there would not be more opportunities for damage to happen because you can imagine the pressure you're putting on something this is like physics so if you have two parts and you make a hole in between them and you screw something on top and put pressure on them they kind of tend to de kind of detach and they can crack there as well so this is super fragile whoever conceived the dynamics of this bag ain't a genius far from it so um this one is literally to be exhibited i mean it's like a novelty item of of the fashion world and that's the reason why i bought it ultimately because what is huge during halloween are novelties little plastic poops you know little little gimmicks jokes you know trick or treat you can trick people into stuff all those novelties that you buy that have actually no purpose really but you buy them because they're gimmicky and they're cute little plastic toys that you put in uh, little baglets for trick-or-treaters together with the candy little plastic spider rings novelties this to me is a beautiful example of novelty halloween novelty translated into not high fashion but higher end fashion so that's why the concept works the cheapness of it it's not a cheap product at all but the way that it kind of goes into that cheap aesthetic and how there's some elements to it that were not produced as they should have been gives it that novelty flavor which perfectly matches the concept of novelty in halloween and that's why this bag to me is a round concept it's a very clean concept. now probably it's not like they developed it this way on purpose because they wanted a novelty feel they just developed it this way to save money probably but at the end of the day isn't that also the mentality behind novelty products for halloween that you find the cheapest way to produce a novelty and then you try to profit from it as much as you can. You want as many people as possible to buy it. And uh, even if the novelty costs only, you know, a quarter, 50 cents or uh, a dollar, a buck or up to three dollars, you still, you know, you calculate your profit margins to be super high. Now, in this case, the profit margins would have been high had this been a mass released product. But it's not like Moschino is selling amazingly well worldwide. So uh, how many of these bags did they produce in, in orange? I don't even know if they made 50 worldwide, to be honest with you. So it costs them. The lower the amount you produce, the more it costs you. So it's already not a cheap product to begin with because it's not like they produced millions of them. They didn't. They did not. So this, the very low amount produced 
makes their margins, their, the, the margin that they actually earn off of this product if they sell it, much lower. Unless they don't decide to sell it for a couple grand, which is not the case for this piece. It was literally under 400 uh, on sale. So um, that's that. A rare example of novelty, of fashion novelty within a concept of Halloween novelty. It's, it's, it's very interesting and actually there's much more space I think much more could have been done in this entire collection. I would have loved to see more of this uh, within that particular collection. But in general, no fashion designer is really dedicating their time to, to that concept of novelty and a, 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 a kind of a cheap cheapness or a quality that is rooted in our culture, in our pop culture, in our society. Uh, especially as kids, we all went through that, that, that flavor, that desire for these little cheap things, trinkets almost. To translate that into high fashion is a really, really fascinating concept and not many have touched base on that. Here, there, it has been touched base upon, but not because they really wanted to develop, I don't think Jeremy thinks that deep, developing something so, you know, but it's an idea that should be developed deeper because not many brands, actually no brands, really went into that direction yet. This is a fortuitous coincidence, and you best believe Jacob jumps on it immediately, like a, like a moth to a flame. I want to say like a fly to poop, but <laughs> not good for YouTube. But anyway, I fly, <laughs> yes, like a fly to poop. I, I fly to novelty like a fly would fly to poop. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please do thumb it up. And... Um, or if you like the pumpkin, the little Jeremy Scott pumpkin with weird eyebrows, thumb up this video. Until next time, I wish you all best of times. Please remember when you're out and about, wear a mask. It's very important, not just for yourself, but also to save other people's lives. And um, think a little bit more about others. A bit more patience, a bit more compassion, a bit more tenderness. Open that heart just a little bit and let other people's stories come into it. Let other people's sorrows come into it. Understand other people. Understand the problems of other people. And When you open up, others will open up too. And then slowly, that's the process I believe is the only process we have at our disposition at the moment in order to heal as humanity to heal all you know to unite again to come together again because we all we are all one even though politicians would love to split us up and to separate us and to dissect us into tiny fragmented pieces don't let them do that don't let them do that we are all one just like this pumpkin it's made out of all of these different bits and pieces but it's one pumpkin and it can only exist as this one unity of a bag when all the pieces are together if we, take, if we take it apart, it's not a pumpkin anymore, it's not a bag anymore. There's no functionality to it. Same applies to humanity and to people. You separate us, we fail. You unite us, we become one whole. Then there's a purpose to us. Then there's an existence that is validated through unity. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, never forget to never give up on spooky love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye.